Hi. How you feeling? All right. Can I make it? Pulling through. Melissa was a little under the weather there. Oh God. Past week. Hi. What do you do? Oh, you're so sweet. This is Wonka. Did they meet Wonka? No. Piper's gonna be jealous. She's looking to meet him. She needs to get her hair done up first, but she's excited. Huh. I'm wearing sweatpants. And washing machine's still broke. We're getting it fixed though. I know, but I'm down to clothes that I'm ready. It was either this or a ball gown. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so you may have noticed at the beginning of this video, I was sharpening the uh, MS-261. A lot of people ask me how I sharpen my saws. Uh, I kind of go back and forth from hand filing like you saw at the beginning of the video and sometimes I use the steel two-in-one sharpener. For a while there when I bought the steel two-in-one, I love it. It works great and it gets you out of a pinch, uh, but I just seem to get a little bit better hand filing. I'm no expert at it at all, but I have. It took years to actually get decent at it. If you're looking for videos though on how to sharpen, go see Buck and Billy Ray. He's an expert at it. Uh, I get enough to get them pretty sharp and to get by. But to answer your question, because a lot of people ask that, I use both hand filing and I use the steel two-in-one. The two-in-one's nice, kind of when you're out in the field and you might, you know, get into some dirt a little bit and you don't completely ruin it. You can just touch it up real quick with it. But when you want to get it pretty sharp, I like to use the hand file. But everybody's different and everyone has a different approach. That's just how I do it. Something else I wanted to mention, if you watched the last couple videos, I've had the same sweatshirt on and what appears to be the same pants, but I've got like four pairs of these, but I do wear the same sweatshirt. And I always joke with this guy, this is Advanced Landscaping. Uh, he's my seating contractor over in Ohio at my real job. I work in the oil and gas industry, and these are the nicest sweatshirts, hoodies, for like working outside. I don't have one. This time of year. Tell, I'll send this video to Danny. So Danny. Danny, guess what? This is something I got at the Goodwill. Yeah. Three years ago. So what's up with and that? this shirt I wore underneath a sweater to church this morning. So. Yeah. Hmm, she doesn't have a hoodie. And my sweatpants. That's probably why you have a cold. You didn't have a hoodie. That's probably it. That's probably what it is. But that's the situation with sharpening. Thanks, Danny. The hoodie. Oh, and he's a good seating contractor. I don't... Uh, advanced. Advanced landscaping. Mm. They do hydro seating. They also do like hardscape. Oh, land enhancement. Land enhancement. Ooh, that word's always pretty popular. Yeah. <laughs> But We're they gonna do, do some firewood enhancement. Yeah, he does a really good job though. He can get grass to grow on about anything. And in our job uh, in oil and gas, when you're building a well pad, that is one of the most important things is to get vegetation growing and grass growing. Then you don't have erosion problems. So uh, we found Danny years ago. I've been using him ever since. So I talked him up enough. Maybe you'll get a sweatshirt out of the oh, deal. Here's hoping. Here's Somebody hope. send me a sweatshirt. I told him. You know what hey, I told him? did you show them the grass growing? No, I will. The this, grass is the actually grass growing over here. Around the pool? Yeah. At the neighbor's pool, since Melissa doesn't have one. It's coming I, up nicely. I told Danny the other day, I said, you know, usually when you wear stuff like this, it's kind of like a sponsored video. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I, I he wear this paying us to... all the time. And he did tell me to just send me a check and fill it out, whatever I thought was fair. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've done that to me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it came right back. But anyway, we got a little bit of wood cut here. Yeah. The trailer's maybe about a quarter full. Uh, we're going to knock this out. We have some family coming over in about a half hour, so uh, we're not going to be And the long. temperatures are high today, in case you're wondering why my sleeves are yeah. like that quarter length, like, three quarter length sleeve, which kind of drives me nuts, so I have to keep them on my elbows. It's almost 50. I know, which after the past couple days, it feels like 65. <laughs> and tomorrow's going to be uh, in the 20s or something. Oh, but anyway, right, that's okay. We're tough. We're gonna get busy. We're gonna do firewood and think about it. All right, so I cut probably, I don't know, I'm just guessing. There's over a pickup load there, probably a third of a cord, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna split this real quick and Melissa will start her stopwatch okay. once we get started. Okay. We're gonna move the tractor and stuff first. Okay. And uh, she'll set the stopwatch. I'm just curious to see how long it'll take. I'm saying that's about a third of a cord right there. With it being so close to the splitter, it's going to be fast, really fast. So as most of you know, this is the Wolf Ridge splitter. And so far, probably 20 people have emailed me about uh, the new machine that Chris built. He built this ginormous splitter with like a 16 or 32-way wedge. It's 42-ton ram on it. 
and I guess it's going to Arkansas or something for some guy that gets real big rounds and uh, nice. it's just a monster of a machine uh, it's not doesn't have wheels or anything he said they have a wheel loader to pick it up and move it oh yeah yeah if I'll see if Chris can shoot me a picture of it I'll put it in this video right now But uh, yeah, it's a monster. Well, we don't need anything quite that big. We don't get into rounds that big. And uh, as you can see, primarily what we get into, usually six to uh, 15 inch diameter stuff. And uh, our wood around here, it's pretty, you know, the nicer stuff we save for the sawmill, but right. it's kind of gnarly, this stuff is. And what yeah. we're gonna split here now is a mix of cherry, a little bit of oak, a little bit of maple. So we'll pull the tractor ahead a little bit and get started. Nice buffet. All right, I'm gonna pull the tractor ahead just a bit and I will start my stopwatch in here. I had to pull that ahead just a smidge and I'm starting the stopwatch now. I'm going to leave my phone in here.
not bad. I think we could have cut a couple minutes off. Holding the tractor up twice. And um, we started the stopwatch before we had everything running. All right, so how long How long did it take? 16, 15, and I think we could have done that in f under 15 minutes. Yeah, definitely, because... Uh, Pull my sweatpants off. Move the cameras around, move the tractor ahead easily, and I think it might have been a little bit over a third of a cord. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah. It doesn't take long at I all. I think it was a little over a third of a cord, but... Yeah, I think we could that could have been done in under 15 minutes with two people with this Wolfridge compact commercial... commercial Especially compact when spoiler. the wood is sitting right here beside you. Yeah, that was sweet. That was definitely the one step. And Melissa's real good at, uh, she knows, she tries to put like the smaller ones that just require one split for a while, then so we'll switch to the bigger ones. Because when you see me pushing that table off, the reason I'm doing that is I need to lower that wedge down because a bigger piece is coming on. I want to use the four way. Well, he, you had it, you had three rows of rounds, which was sweet. So it was seriously just a pivot and turn and load. Yeah. But that was like playing uh, firewood round Jenga. Yeah. I couldn't pull out one and they all come crashing down. Yeah. When I first got here, there was a stick here and I, I kicked it. Oh, it was this one here. I kicked it because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be tripping or falling and this will be embarrassing. Well, here, he used this to hold the first row around. So when I kicked it, down <laughs> comes the rounds. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty good there. Someday, not bad. what I would like to do is... Uh, We'll get this little pile finished up. Get this machine over to the house. I'm going to put it in the garage for a while because the weather's going to get bad. Yeah. And then, uh, but just keep bringing rounds down to the yard and like literally spend like four yeah. straight hours splitting. Okay. Just four hours. And uh, oh, it's amazing. Just four? Okay. Eight hours. Ten. Yeah. Oh. Well, this splitter, the more I work with it, the more I'm impressed with it. Yeah. It's the way to go. Two people, boom. So uh, we got some family coming over. We should probably wrap this up. Yeah, I have a ham and um, cheesy potato casserole. Hmm. In my in my growing up, it was called funeral potatoes. So really? Yeah, because you always made them for somebody's funeral. That's depressing. I'm not saying. Huh. Good luck. <laughs> I want to show the grass. It's not exactly a lush green lawn, but uh, you can definitely see the uh, grass came up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. First thing in the spring, it'll be ready to roll. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, one more thing I want to mention. If you enjoy these videos, click like, but go to our Facebook page or Instagram page, Outdoors with the Morgans. Check out the pictures. We post one picture, at least one picture a day. And then you can also click on the profile circle, which will play our story. And I try to give you some things that we do throughout the day. So there's a few things on our story each day. So check that out. So if you like these videos, click like subscribe comment down below we've had a lot of new subscribers we'd love to hear from you what you're doing in your neck of the woods and share them with a friend see you on the next one